Okay, GTT, block five. Today's agenda, we're gonna open up Inventor. We're gonna model one C part. It's gonna be a part that looks like a C. We're gonna save file in the engineering folder. So the key to this lesson is that the magic numbers are either four, two, or one. So all you have to remember is four, two, or one. Magic shapes are, your shape is rectangle. You just have to know, we're gonna use rectangle a lot. We're gonna use the numbers four, two, and one. The magic word is Dimension. It's also known as a distance. So, first thing you need to do is look at this. Okay? It's a very crude drawing of what we want to draw, but you can see it looks like a C. I think I'm missing the line right here. More or less, hopefully you can see it. So letter C in block. Okay. It's going to be four height. The height is four inches. The width is two inches. The depth is one. So this will also be on the whiteboard in front. You're going to sketch this first on your isometric paper so you have the numbers. to create this part on Inventor. So you need Inventor open. Your screen could look like this. Okay, first thing you have to do is click this new piece of paper in the upper left. You have to double click standard IPT. This is, this is the correct one to use, standard IPT. We don't use sheet metal in here. So don't click that one because everything will be off a little. We want standard IPT. Double click that. This should load right here. Okay? First thing you do is create 2D sketch in the upper left. And then I would click this piece of paper right here. You want to click this yellow one that's over here. Should rotate. You know you're correct if you see X left and right, Y up and down, and this blue dot here. You pick the correct one if you have the X red arrow going left and right, the Y green arrow going up and down, and the blue dot. Now this is your piece of paper. Magic shape is rectangle. You click on rectangle. You click once on this yellow dot here, you'll see a green dot appear. You click once, drag, let go, drag to the upper right, and then you're going to have two numbers to type in. You type in two, press tab, type in four, then you hit enter. Then you hit this front box right there. Okay, and you should see you have a blue rectangle, four height, two wide. Now, we need to also sketch another magic shape, which is a rectangle. This one's a little tricky. We're going to start here. Make sure you start randomly over here. Don't pick a corner. Just pick this side over here. It should snap in there. Click once drag down into the left and then you're just going to left click one more time. So you have a big blue rectangle with four. Four is the height. Two is the width. And then a green rectangle with no numbers or dimensions. So we're going to need to dimension this put it in the right spots. You click on dimension here. So the magic numbers we've used already are four 
and 2. The last magic number we need to use is 1. Hit the escape button a couple times. You're going to see we need three dimensions. We need to locate this rectangle in three places. So we're going to dimension the distance between this green line and this blue line. We don't want it 0.987, we want it 1. Type in 1, you hit enter. That line changes to blue. We're still on dimension. This green line, that blue line, it's not 0.618, it's 1. One more. The goal is to change the green lines to blue. That dimension from here to here, it's not 0.913, it is 1. Now that we're fully constrained, you're allowed to click Finish Sketch. When you hit Finish Sketch, you might lose your drawing. You need to hit this house up here in the upper right. It's the home button, you're going to click the house. So now, to make this C, we need to look at the top, it's called Extrude. That's an all, another word of the day we're using today. We need to extrude this letter C, this magic number we're going to use is 1. We're going to hit OK, you should see a block that looks like a C. Hit the home button, center it up. Good thing to do now is change the color. Go up here, you click default, default. Use red because we're at Chaminade. Should be a red red C. Move it around with this view cube, just click on it, it'll rotate. If you ever lost in space, you hit this home button here, it brings you back to the beginning. Now this would be a good time to save this. So you did all this work, you want to save it. Up in the upper left is the disk. Hit the disk. You need to save this as GTT C last name. Whatever your last name is. Don't type in the words last name. You type in your actual last name and then you hit save. So now you've successfully modeled your first block IPT that looks like a C. Congratulations.